Another day, another time, I have blindly believed someone in the comment section only to be proven wrong immediately afterwards because I did absolutely no research on my own. Now, I get the blame for backing an idea when I could have just read a single sentence. How dare you? Oh, I have some terrible news. It turns out the incredible idea of infecting the infectors doesn't work because they're already infected with infectors. Specifically, people with the infector cannot be infected. Ah, the irony. Those are the many of you out there who suggest it wasn't one person. I will admit it was mostly my fault because I could have read that and solved the problem myself. You were wrong. You were wrong and now you've made me look like a fool. But to be honest, there was a much better idea. Something far more sensible and thematic. Thanks to Big Brain Kai, we have uncovered the secrets of mushroom genealogy. We have a very, very powerful cure. And perhaps after doing all the pissing around today, we might be able to find ourselves an advanced cure. But what began in the kitchen should end in the kitchen. What if Chef Will and his far more talented wife found a way to put that cure in the hands of the mushrooms in a way that they wouldn't even expect? You can't blame the mushrooms too much. They're just hungry. They're just plain hungry. That's why they're hunting our people. Their, their sensibilities, their minds have all degraded because of the genetics. And they're just hungry. Uh, what? Hungry and angry. Uh, no more thrombos attacking us in a city. I've had that once, and to be honest, once was too much. What if we just feed the mushrooms the cure? Without further ado, presenting for your opinion and feedback, the restaurant that cures people. That's right, thanks to the mighty brain of Dexter Felder himself, what if we lace meals with a cure? We'll get, we'll get a proper texture later on, okay? We need five minutes to load up Photoshop. For the low, low cost of one meal and one advanced nullifier, we can mix them together and we can leave them out there in the world. Mushroom heal thyself. We, we don't need to recruit them. We don't need Chef to be a mushroom man. Very paradoxically, curing the mushrooms out there in the world when they can just eat the meals because they're so damn hungry. I know what you're thinking. There's a lot of people out there. One meal and one nullifier, that's going to be extremely expensive to try and cure the planet. Well, what if... We have low-dose cured meals. 25 meals, one cure. When you eat a meal dosed with that low dose of the cure, it will remove a single gene. You eat that over enough period of time, maybe you, you, the chef goes around capturing the mushrooms, putting them in the prison, feeding them these meals until they are back to being regular plain old people. It is genius. Hence, what began in the kitchen will end in the kitchen. It is poetry. The downside is covering meals in some sort of advanced nullifier makes them taste terrible and will probably give you food poisoning. So to be very, very careful about how and who eats these damn meals. Unlike all good chefs, if Will is setting the menu, then Will should be the one testing the damn menu. Ah, delicious. Cure meal. Uh, fix the graphics, okay? I'll fix it. You just need to give me five minutes. We're very busy today. Chow down, Chef Will. Enjoy, my friend. And... Bazinga. Oh... <laughs> and instant food poisoning. Amazing. What was that? Oh my god, it's fucking it's basketball! God damn it! <laughs> Why have I done this to myself? I'm gonna get the adrenaline spiking, huh? It keeps up people on their toes. They're, they're, they're getting a little complacent because this place has already become quite luxurious. Now, what do we do with the rest of the hospital hydroponics building? I think a holding bay for mushroom friends. I think we could also do with slapping down some turrets indoors as well. Uh, or inside the actual complexes themselves in case there are any breaches on the outside. Oh, uh, okay. Actually, actually, what I think we should do is keep going with this because this is genius. I think it's our proven tested thing that works perfectly well. So I think before we do absolutely anything else, before we work on some mass cure, we need to make sure that we are here to stay for, for good. I'm going to say the whole thing. Turrets and floodlights all the way down. With this, uh, it, it's not even that much of an expansion, right? It's not super expensive. This will actually see right to the edge of the map. They, they can never surprise us again. I mean, unless they drop pod through Will's bedroom. That was very surprising. Will, you're cured now. Once you're done vomiting everywhere, you can go and you can get rid of the mushrooms, my friend. You're back to being Chef Will. Your experiment worked. Maybe this is part of why Chef Will was happy to let himself become the mushroom so that he could find a way that the, the cure could be administered through his mouth. I'm not going to say the words orally. I would never do such a thing. There you go. You're cured. It works. My God, Big Brain Kai, it works. Oh, one of us is going mad. Advanced nullifier? We haven't even done the research to get advanced nullifiers yet. What? <laughs> How did you actually get that cure, though? I have no idea. Where did you where did you get that from? We haven't even invented it yet. Oh, it must have been a prototype, of course. Silly me. Big Brain Kai definitely was on it. Hello, trade changed. Timmer lost a trade groundbreaker. Oh. Oh, he doesn't care about breaking out of places anymore. Remember all, all those years ago, Timmy came to us and escaped convict trying to survive in the trying to survive in the apocalypse? He doesn't want to leave. 
You know, maybe maybe he sees this as his home. It's a metaphor for Timon maybe finally being happy. What do you mean the other trait clearly said psychopath? I'm not paying attention to that. Let's get out there into the world and let's go and find ourselves. What? <gasps> That's the helicopter. Jesus, I thought both of Timon's arms had been ripped off then. Oh, Will, are you okay? Please don't throw up all over that coffin, Will. Uh... Wait, are you good? Timon? <laughs> oh! I was wondering where the hell they'd landed. Sadly, we're back in the middle of a drought of ancient complexes. We've had this happen before. That's not much of a surprise. Are you good? I don't think that was a mushroom. You remember that moment last episode where I said... I said I'd build a fire foam popper and then didn't do that? Yeah, I'm paying the price. Careful, Mariana. Just climb over the batteries. You're all good. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm actually going to build one, though. I mean, I would if we had the steel. That's okay. What? Is that not roofed over? Is that why? Oh! Timon! You did one side, but not the other. That's definitely Timon's fault. <laughs> Let's grind up whatever steel we can get and then get back to work locking down the city as fast as possible. Hey, it's paid for itself. What a good journey. Oh, a gene remover. Oh, cool. Oh, my God. There's psychic emanators and volumetric power cells. A gift. A gift from this old lab. Thank you. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, Lord, that's quite a lot. Save some for Timon's army. Remember, we always leave a tribute for Timon's army. Something for them to stumble across. Just as us stumbling across all these ancient ruins has potentially saved the planet, maybe they'll also do some good if we leave them some stuff behind as well. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing them frantically run away from a landed helicopter will never get old. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to quickly just, yeah, I'm gonna just throw one of those down. Just to make it look a little neater. That's terrible. Great work. How many did we bring back, even though I left a few behind there? Oh, my God. That's very silly. That's very silly. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's not a massive amount of power. It'll certainly help out. And of course, I find that the time where the power grid's fine. I sink thousands of steel into the power grid. We haven't got anything to worry about anymore. But thank you, I suppose. Emergency power for all the buildings. Just in case you get uh, 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 an eclipse or something like that. Or maybe they just cut through the solar panels. Solar panels blow up. I don't know. Tim and Banana are off here grabbing some more steel for our expansion. I don't think I'm going to land the helicopter anywhere. Oh, we got a little bit there. I wonder what happens in the orange. I bet the helicopter takes damage or something, because it's not red. Red is, obviously, you can't land here, stupid. I understand. Hello! Oh, my God. Look at all these damn trees. What have you got for me, then? Some of those ancient hydroponics. There we go. Only three of them. That's a bit unfortunate, but I will very happily take them. A little bit of steel, but plenty of stuff we can take apart, more importantly. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, lots of steel. Oh, God. Emotional whiplash. Left, right, and sense. You got anything? What's, what's this stuff here? Loads of wood. Loads of bricks. I don't need wood or bricks. Oh, well, that'll pay for our expansion then. Very nice. Oh, uh, what was that? Oh, lost, 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 lost. Hello? They heard about my plans. Get everybody scrambled to those defensive positions I set up. I'm not happy about that, though. Who's supposed to be on, on, on this? I don't think anybody's actually supposed to be on this area. Hey, come up here and reinforce this. Oh, shit. Oh, thank you. No, thank you. We've given them effects on a massive way in. This is the last time it'll ever happen. This is the last time it'll ever happen. We grab all the outsides. We brick up all the buildings. It's going to be a... Oh! <laughs> it's going to be a paradise as Bella gets shredded. Those walls are still there, right? That's not an illusion. No, they're still there. They're still there. We're good. The other turret just got completely smashed. Oh, my God. Well, I suppose at least no explosion. Timon. Timon! My good friend Timon, please help out. Oh, look at the walls. Oh, my God. Whoa, okay. Savannah, why aren't you firing? You haven't got a gun? That's not very, that's not very helpful, Savannah. I don't mean to lie to you. Okay, you're already pinned down. Looks like they're all coming from that angle. So let's send Banana back up here to help Savannah. In fact, Banana, come here. Swap with... Swap with Timon, who will move over there to help Savannah instead. Savannah, for God's sake. We haven't got any weapons at all. Is somebody hoarding guns again? Will! Why does this keep happening? Maybe maybe they're all just panicking because of what happened to Trudy. Okay, Trudy's gun jammed, and then Trudy Trudy died. But he's probably just thinking, look, if I take three or four guns with me, no one's no one's ever going to be able to stop me. My guns won't jam. One thing I need to do more whenever we send Tim and Banana out is just make sure everyone else is ready to go, ready to fight at the drop of a hat. Because if they'd have dropped in Savannah's bedroom, that would have been the end of Savannah. Isn't it so crazy how ever since I gave the marine armor, they haven't been getting infected so much? I just can't believe it. That doesn't mean I'm not keeping an eye on them. Uh, yeah, be careful, be careful. Mariana. Ah! Oh, it's throwing up? Why is it throwing up? What are you, what are you, what are you saying that Mariana's that ugly? Oh, it turns out the mushroom is just drunk. <laughs> if only we'd have known that earlier, we could have weaponized that. We could have set up a brewery and thrown all the thrown all the alcohol outside, and then they'd have been too drunk to hunt my people. It is one thing that drives me fucking nuts. These idiots wandering through all these abandoned building complexes, not knowing what's in there, because of course the doors have been breached, so 
They could be filled with any old mushrooms. Just going and having a damn picnic in the dark. Totally out of steel again. It's not even that expensive. It's like 500 steel per embrasure. Because what is it? Like 200 and something per walls. And then the turrets are 100 each. And what are these? 40? You know the drill. You know the drill, Timon. But this might be it. We might never have to go outside again. A gamer's dream. Ah! Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Uh, is anybody nearby? Timon, forget about the helicopter for a second. Kai needs saving. Run, Kai. Does she have... Oh, my God. She's one of the few that doesn't have locust armor. Oh, the only one who can't fight back. What genius did that? On the plus side, I did build auto doors everywhere. Nice. Oh, why are you so small? Hello? What's going on there? Oh, dwarfism. I'm going to say, I don't remember making any little mushroom. We can make a new type called button mushrooms. <laughs> Let's make sure we've always got a set of locust armor in storage. And I think I might swap Big Bang. Honestly, I might swap everyone else to it. Because it's been so bloody good. Just consistently amazing to have. Oh, shit. There's an engine complex now. Hey, very nice. While Timmons away getting the very final steel that we need to build our uh, hopefully final defenses, it probably won't be. Someone's going to get through these walls and kill us dead. Let's make advanced curing methods. Big Brain Kai's magnum opus. Although, to be fair, now that I look at this, I see that they've hauled a lot of the stuff over here. They just need to actually build it. Lazy. Oh, in the future, remind me to send some meals with Timon. When we've invented them, of course. Send some meals so that any of Timon's warriors that we wake up, we could give them a little gift. Maybe the filters on their crypto casket got compromised and some of the spores going. I don't know how it works, but they are definitely, definitely mushroom people. Show me something good here. What is that? A very lovely looking Altex vest. Great steel. Ugh! That's barely any steel. One plasteel, fine. Okay, fine. You never know when one plasteel might come in handy. Ooh, they had a turret for me. Oh, thank you. I never really thought about checking that before. Honestly, I'm going to bring back the steel slag chunks. I've had them hauling it from the city, but this is a bit more convenient. Kai, 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 Kai. Why is it always you? Why is it always the person that can't fight back? Oh, Jesus. Well, who's that? Yoshi? No, Yoshi, don't do it. Oh, okay, he's fine. It turns out he a gun of his own. Have a goddamn beautiful paradise. Now all we have to do is seal up every door on the map. I had to click every single door in this damn city. My RSI is on another level. Forget about the Xenotype Nullify Cure. What about my fingies? My little, little, tiny, precious fingies. <laughs> Oh, you know what else would be kind of useful as our really, really early warning system? These embrasures that I've thrown around the edge. Just putting a couple more turrets on those as well. Timon, you are never allowed to retire. Timon, I'm sorry. There is no time off for you, my friend. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. These aren't just random attacks. That's a full-on actual raid. That's a full-on actual raid. I thought my people were just being randomly punched here and there. What? Shot from a hand cannon? Ashley shot shot Savannah's left leg. That's twice as bad as being regularly shot. Who the fuck is Ashley? Ashley, who are you shooting? Trade caravan walks in. Must have shot whoever was attacking Savannah. Kai got punched or bitten in this case. <laughs> yeah, I bet it did. There are actually, there's actually a raid happening right now. And I, okay, I didn't notice it immediately, admittedly. The fact that we didn't have to immediately worry about it is kind of great. They are coming in from every angle. My God, and whether the rest, they're up here somewhere. Mining through this building, about to pop through there. Let's bring you two over in this direction then, please. As soon as we've got the city locked down, the next thing we work on is a quarantine block. I think I take this one and I flip it entirely into a quarantine room where we put all of the mushrooms that are not yet cured. Even if prisoners go berserk or go on a prisoner break or something, sure, we might be able to solve the aggression spores, but if they then attack them just regularly, defending themselves, our people can still get infected. Just keeping them in a prison is not sufficient as far as I'm concerned. Hello, how you doing? I missed all these doors. Oh my god, there's even more doors that I've missed. Send help. What is going to get frustrating is shit like that, where they can breach these walls, and I won't notice these walls are breached because they're all... I, I'm just panning through like this. How on earth am I ever going to notice that? And they don't count as claimed, so I don't think our people will automatically... will automatically fix it. What am I supposed to do, though? Claim the entire city. That would send our colony wealth to unthinkable levels. Oh, shit. Hello. Bloody hell, that door didn't last long long, huh? Plasteel auto doors would be in a perfect world, but I'm not sure we can... Ah! I'm not sure we can afford that. You're fine, right? Absolutely fine. Luckily, because this is such a good system, we just fall back behind the next load of walls. It's perfect. Are we good? Is everything over? I think... Oh, what's going on up there? Hello. I think we're all safe. Another day, another ancient complex raid, because somebody keeps setting all their goals far too high and lofty. Like, for example, lockdown... Oh! An entire city in the middle of an apocalypse. Good God. What a guy. Magic Smarties. Hello. Ten of them. We don't really need any more, but thank you. You know what I'd really like? A climate adjuster? 
four glass of old medicine, and then finally... Psychic Carbonizer. Well, on the plus side, lots of steel slag chunks. Not convenient, but I'll take it. Well, another ancient complex. Hello there. Oh, Bob Goodstrader. Hello. I landed in an... In an orange landing site, just to see what happened. Right, it deals a little bit of damage to the helicopter. Oh, well, that's way more convenient, though, so I'll take it. Hello? Anybody home? Friends for Timon. Surely we've woken up enough people at this point that they can defeat the mushrooms. Oh, my God. Prestige cataphracts armor, you don't say. A gift for Chef, I think. Chef loves that. So I train her on focus. Hey, what are you focus on these nuts? We got more important stuff to do. Junk. Junk. Non. Stop. Junk. Not even anything good on this map. Where's all the ruins? Wow, this map is enormous, though. This is cool. Oh, a gift. We've got to bear in mind, Plasteel is arguably as, if not more important than the steel, because that's what I'm going to use to, in theory, make the cure. If we ever manage to research the cure. Well, we got slow research, don't forget. Slow research, and more importantly, a lot to do. Oh, William. Hello. Do you have any steel for me? 692. Oh, and some Plasteel as well. Thank you. I'm going to sell that anti-grain warhead, because right now it's just sat on a shelf in the stockpile. It, it was, like, right there, and I feel like that was exceptionally dangerous. Doesn't matter how many fire foam pops you but I don't think you're sorting that one out. Ah, yes. Area revealed. Area revealed and revealed and revealed and revealed. And then, uh, beer party. A beer party. It's 7 a.m. What do you mean a beer party? Drinking Psykai tea in the freaking hot tub. It's 7 a.m. This is Twitch behavior. This is Twitch streamer behavior. Are you people too broke to afford Psykai tea at the hot tub? Huh? It's only $28 each. <laughs> I can't even give them the excuse of, oh, it's the end of the world. Because we're, we're building a city. This place is lovely now. I mean, look at it. There's employment. There are uh, there are facilities. I'm working on a goddamn restaurant that I put on pause because I thought actually, you know, finish securing the city first is probably a higher priority. Oh my god, I miss more doors. I miss more doors. Why are there so many doors in this city? How many doors do you people need? Yeah, the areas are revealed every time we break up one of these doors, right? Because then you can see the room that's actually behind it. And another bulk goods trader. Oh, a gift. A gift. I've had them smelting all of the steel slag on the map. Savannah has been a non-stop killer of steel slag. I'm trying to recycle as much of the city back into the city as possible. Because then it feels like we're, we're actually rebuilding, right? Oh my god, 800 steel. Thank you. Hard. Uh, 200 plus steel I'll take for the many, many cures we're going to need. Still no climate changer. I just wanted it cold enough to slow the mushrooms down. I'm not asking to freeze the planet anymore. I'm over it, okay? Oh my god, I think we're done. Look at these beautiful borders. What are you doing? We have turrets at quite literally every single road into this city at this point. Then behind those turrets, more goddamn turrets. And behind those turrets, more goddamn turrets. To get to the central base where everyone sleeps and lives, they have to go through a minimum of three different turret emplacements, then get past the point defend turrets. You will never get this. Are you listening, mushrooms? Now that enormous gargantuan project is out the way, let's start another one. <laughs> <laughs> this one is a lot easier. It's a little more close to home. We're going to build a quarantine prison combo. The quarantine section will keep for people who are infectious. That is, any mushrooms with the infector hands, any mushrooms with the aggression spores that we haven't yet cured. And the, the prison can be for mushrooms who are no longer infectious and regular baseliners that maybe we're in the process of recruiting so that we can send out there in the world to build some settlements. I mean, shit, maybe people we actually want to bring into the base, people that we want to want to actually join us here. Oh, no, no, no. I complained about not being able to clear the toilet blockage, you remember? And, and now they can clear it, but I haven't done the research. I hope someone didn't change something behind the scenes because they thought I was angry. I wasn't angry. I was just I was just making a joke at my people's expense. Please, by all means, block that toilet back up. <laughs> there it is. At long last, advanced curing methods, and it wasn't even Big Brain Kai. Multi-talented, multi-skilled, multi-colored armor. Banana. What's a goddamn legend? I mean, Kai and Banana have been working together since day one. So, I, I mean, presumably, it's a lot of Kai also in that cure as well. Let's... Excuse me, you're in the way of my machining table. No, you're not. Stay where you are. I forgive you. Advanced Nullifier. 250 Plasteel and two advanced components. Please don't check the spelling. <laughs> did I spell check that? I have really no idea. 250 Plasteel is goddamn expensive. What idiot did that? Oh, for Christ's sake. How many genes does each mushroom person have? I'm going to have to bloody find one now. Hello there. Can I see fungoid? Two, three, four, five, 27 genes in total. Oh, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. I can use one advanced nullifier and a cure to cure one person, or I can use one nullifier and 25 meals to make 25 meals that individually each remove one gene. Surely that should be 27. 
Who put this together? What am I saying? Clearly, 25 meals and one nullifier makes, if I can click the button, 30 low-dose cure meals. It just makes more sense. That makes it more efficient than the alternative. And that makes perfect sense. Or something like that. Maybe it'll change by tomorrow. Maybe Big Brain Kai will come up with some clever method of making it more efficient. I'm not sure. But I'm sure if you leave some feedback in the comments, Big Brain Kai will see it and adjust things accordingly. <laughs> Does that imply that Rimworld takes place in a, a way they can see YouTube comments? No, absolutely not. That's ridiculous. How could you suggest that? Oh, Timon, where's your armor? What? I don't know why I'm looking there. That's not armor. T Timon, where's your armor, my friend? He swapped it for Locust Gear. Hold on. Beetle... Be 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 beetle. I know how to spell beetle. It's gone. The beetle frat is gone. I wonder if it broke and he swapped out to the locust gear. Oh. I mean, it's another flying insect, but it's not quite the same impact, is it? I was also doing a little penetration testing on the walls, and we are still completely sealed in. There is no way to get outside of these walls, and I'm just going to leave the doors blocked up like that. I did set them in an allow area that was inside it anyway, so it makes no difference, but I will keep it bricked up. It makes it easier to test in the future. Now we work on the quarantine building. However, I've run out of steel. Say the line, Bart. Let's go to an ancient complex and get some more things. Did one spawn in exactly the same place? Maybe it's the same one, and we just didn't have a look for a very thoroughly. It'll be a real gift for poor Tim and for traveling out all this way again. I like a climate controller. That would be really, really, really kind. Yes, I've added them to the uh, to the drop tables. Yes, I've done that. They're on there. It is possible. They're just a little rare. They should be rare, but maybe maybe not this rare. Okay, maybe this rare. Maybe we are just getting unlucky. Give me some steel. Ooh, that's a good amount of steel. Ooh, I like that. Hello. Um, That's all that's on this map, though. Wow, what a terribly boring map. What happened? Colonist Will lost the trait Brave. Oh, God. Maybe he's becoming used to city life. There's no need for him to be brave anymore. Who needs bravery when you've beaten your biggest enemy? Living in the city that was very cursed. Oh, banana. Good luck. Oh, no. Oh, we love a good gamble. We love the gamble. Okay, be careful, though, for God's sake. Hello? Hello? Okay, okay. And then final room. Everything's nice and safe. That one's not. Well, forget it. We don't need to go in there anyway. And... Altex helmet. And Neolithic research data. <laughs> we've only got wood as a building resource now, how far we've fallen, but we don't need it to be crazy. We're not we're not we're not trying to imprison them and stop them ever leaving. This is a place for recuperation and recovery. This is a building to have them be cured. This isn't some sort of mad prison. That's why I'm calling it quarantine and not supermax. Drop pod raid. Drop pod raid. Brother Labaguette, it's a drop pod raid. I was wondering how the hell you got behind my lines. Dead for less than a day. They must have rotten instantly because, of course, Scaria. Uh, oh, sorry, aggression spores. You know what I mean. Uh, excuse me. Where the hell are they all? They could have fallen absolutely anywhere. Oh, I don't even want to drive my people up because they could just get attacked on the way. I guess we'll give it a go. The problem is that they've already cracked some of these bloody doors open too. One thing I have done is retired the charged sniper rifle. We've just got a regular charge rifle now because that wasn't very appropriate for close quarters city combat when your when your vision is is potentially only like six blocks. Not really worth it. You can hear the occasional gunfire from one of the turrets. Kind of holding. Oh, there's another one holding down the front door. Where the hell is it? There are so many turrets. It's, it's almost impossible to track down which one's bloody firing. We do seem totally safe, though. I mean, a whole drop pod raid without having to directly fight any of them is fantastic, as far as I'm concerned. A few final touches here and there. You know, the occasional indoor camera, a few lights. I'm not putting cameras in their rooms. This is not a prison. It is a place of wellness and restfulness and curing. If they step out of line and they're still infectious, I will meet them with horrendous amounts of physical violence. But that's not the point. We have a very simple policy, okay? And that policy is fuck around and find out. I will welcome them with open arms. I will offer them the cure with my with, with what's left of my dwindling resources here. But if they piss us off, if they threaten the lives of the people, they're gonna find out. I think that's very reasonable. Because if, if, if one of our people gets bitten by one of these prisoners and then, oh no, well, we should forgive them. It's a terrible shame. Let's go non-violent. And then that, that goes out of hand. Guess what? You've doomed the whole planet. One person's inaction will, 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 will mess up this entire world. We're on the, on the precipice. We're on the cusp of something incredible. And we've got to see that through. Are they going around repairing all the doors right now, I assume? Gathering wood to hauling inventory. Yes, that is very important. You're right. No. I don't need to finish them off anymore. It's, beca it's become second action, right? Because they heal, they get up, they bite our people. You see what happened. But we don't need to do it. We can save them. My God, look over here. We've got another survivor. Timony, you're wearing a flop hat instead of like an actual proper marine helmet. 
I mean, chef's wearing a chef hat, so live your life. This isn't a military organization. We're here to cure. The problem is so many of them... Oh, another survivor. Are a rot instantly when they're downed. If the turrets are a little overzealous... I mean, they're, they're mindless turrets, right? I can't really control that. If they're overzealous, there's not much we can do. Hello? Did the guy who dropped all that stuff yesterday? You know what? Live your life. That's all the survivors I can see panning over all of these city blocks. That seems to be more or less it. Savannah, rescue Brother Labaguette. What the fuck are you doing? Unwavering prisoner. I don't mind. They, we don't need to worry about them being unwavering. What's happened to Bella? No. This is a joke. I, I can't save that. I can't- I can't save her. I can't save that. What the fuck are you doing? Are you telling me like I missed one block and now she's run outside? Man, th the way area designation works in this game, I, I fully understand the way it works. If I say put down a little area here, she'll happily run run anywhere to, to get to that point, right? But my god, this sucks when shit like this happens. Oh, it's probably fucking there. It was probably that. Probably running down here to repair something or brick something up and now she's got killed. Oh. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. I don't think there's any saving her. I can try. I can try and get up there, but she is probably very dead. She is probably very, very dead. Yeah. She, she's absolutely gone, huh? They're, they're actually ripping her limb from limb. Both, uh, both of her legs have been ripped off. Her arm's been ripped off. She's still alive. They've bitten off her ear. Her other arm, they're pulling out her lungs, and she is there, alive. She had 65 gold. Bella, were you stealing from us? Oh, God. She should be buried. Uh, she should be buried. Oh, she's rotting. They're not even going to eat her. They're not even going to do the decency of... Oh, God. Okay. Okay, okay. That's fucking bullshit. But, hey, there we go. Okay, carefully... Carefully, carefully, go grab her. How did you get there so quickly? I was just like running through this wall. I do need to check what parts of the wall haven't been, uh, haven't been patched up recently. Can we get her back? Don't try it. Don't try it. Don't try it. Okay, grab the shit. Get the hell out of there. I just, I, I can't believe that happened. I just cannot believe it. We almost got through an entire day with minor incidents. A bite here, a punch there, but no infections and nothing. And then... This shit happens. Just bullshit. I'm so annoyed by that. I'm so annoyed that we almost made it through the, the biggest expansion we're ever going to do. And then that happens right at the end after it's all done. But you know what, Bella? You died for a good cause because now we've got the quarantine. Now we've got the better cure. More importantly, I have built the restaurant plus hydroponics areas. It is more efficient to bake it into the meals. But of course, that takes much longer. We need to know that this actually works. Chef took the gamble. Now let's try it on one of the proper aggressive mushrooms. And... Oh. <laughs> oh my god, Kai's gonna be devastated. It didn't work. Why didn't it work? Because we were in regeneration coma, and then we removed the gene that keeps him deathless, so that causes them to instantly die? Yes, that probably would do it. You're right. It's all knowledge. It's all a lesson learned. And now tomorrow, we move on to the latest and greatest and most terrifying part of the plan. We send Timon. We send Banana. We send a whole bunch of other high-tech, well-armored, but non-lethal troops. We take the helicopter and we hit mushroom point after mushroom point. We wipe out these segments of the hive mind that are causing more mushrooms to spawn in. We bring them back here. We take as many alive as possible. We cure them and then we send them back out there as part of our own faction. We resettle the planet. And then, only then, when I'm convinced that this planet can stand by itself, when they know how to make the cure, they know how to distribute the cure, when they are well armed and well defended enough, then we will look at the spaceship. A happy ending for some of them. Maybe not all of them will want to go. Maybe Chef and, and Mariana now have a whole new life here. Maybe they have a purpose, a destiny. Same with Big Brain Kai. Maybe Timon is vengeful and wants to see the Mushroom Menace defeated. Not wiped out, not exterminated, but, but stopped so that no one else like Roffle will have to suffer. Maybe that way we don't have to choose between either our faction or the planet getting the happy ending. Maybe everybody gets to live.
And that's the important part. My god, what a great ending that would be. Finally being the good guy. We'll see how it goes. Maybe they'll burn the whole base down and, and Big Brain Kai will go on some monstrous rampage and finally be very capable of violent. I'm not sure. Anything can happen in the next few days. But that's probably how long we'll be here. I think maybe only a few more days of, of saving the planet. I mean, realistically, we could go to every single site and cure every single person. That would be, I think, a bit monotonous. And, and I think, you know, once we've got the ball rolling, the people can help themselves. Tim has been raising a whole army in the background for every episode. I think it's very reasonable that they would want to help. And they can be taught how to do it. Kai was taught how to do it. Thank you to the executive producer patrons who allowed the series to exist in the first place. Big thank you to Virgo of Doom, Dust, Hoopy, Jackson, Atticos, Hoofenspiel, Nexstar, John Viral, Geeg, Delusional Khan, Fancy Singularity, Liddiz, Rock, Jack, Higgins, and David Turner for their support. The executive producer is over on Patreon for today. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for bearing with me while I was away yesterday for some boring medical crap that ended up taking far too long because public transport is tremendously unreliable, as you might expect. Thank you as well to Knight Lucia, Zealoth, Callum James 3, Craze, Monkey 231, Derpykins, Bubonic Ghoul, Jizzleson, Bjornulf, Oliver, Shadowstep02, Schmungus, Punky Roo, Zubot the Chaotic, and Sabbers. Goodbye.